Microsoft Power Apps helps you build and customize fully functional mobile apps in a visual designer environment without having to write code. In this example video, I'm going to show you a Power App that Sage have designed, which allows you to connect directly to your Sage data within Sage 200 and view certain information. The first option you will get is a list of any companies that you may have access to through your Sage 200 application. So I will then choose my company and then it will ask you what data you actually want to see. In this case we're going to see some customer data. So I'm going to click on the sales option. You will see a list of all of your customers with some basic information. You can also use a search function to reduce the amount of information you see on this screen. So if I click on the drop down it gives us an option of what I want to search for. So if I search for name I'll then choose what option I want to do within the search. So in my case, I'm going to choose like, and then I'll just type in a company name and click on the magnifying glass to apply the search. You can then click on the cross, which will then empty the search box out as well. From this screen, you can drill into the customer to see further details. So if I click on the view customer detail option, I will see some details of this customer, including things like the currency, the VAT code, the name, and the address. With Power Apps, this links to other Microsoft applications. So as you can see next to the address, I have a Google icon allowing me to use Google Maps. So if I click on that, it would then launch Google Maps and show me the address of my customer. If I then go back to the Power App, I can actually drill further into the details Again, next to the contacts, you will see an arrow key. This will then list all of the contacts I have in this customer. And from this, I can then email the customer or Skype the customer using other Microsoft applications. So from the email address, it would then launch my default email, in this case, using Microsoft Outlook. Or if I click on the Skype icon, that will launch my Skype application. This will then allow me to send them an instant message or call or video chat them based on the application I have set up. 